Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. So today, as you can tell by the title, we are going to be focusing on my pantry. We're gonna be organizing it and giving it more life and making it super nice and more put together. As you can see, I am in my new apartment. I haven't given a full like apartment tour with all of my stuff in it and things like that yet, but I did give a quick layout of the apartment in my previous video if you wanted to check that out. My boyfriend G is going to be coming over and he is going to be helping with the pantry, getting the shelves in and getting it all set up so I can organize it. But in the meantime, while we're waiting for him, I thought that I would share with you a grocery haul. So I went to my local store and I picked up everything for the upcoming week and I thought I would share it with you and also give you guys a little meal plan of what we're going to be eating this week. So I thought that would be really fun too. So I have all the groceries laid out right now but we are going to start over here in this corner so what i have first um is some feta cheese i was going to make some tomato feta tarts with this for like a brunch or maybe lunch who knows <laughs> i also got some fettuccine here for pasta night and some paper deli pasta i'm going to be making like a mushroom and rosemary cream sauce with this pasta it's gonna be so good and back here i got some garlic toast and I also have some um, potato crunch wild caught fish here. This is gonna be for Taco Tuesday. We're gonna be making tacos, fish tacos with these. I also have some Parmesan here. This is gonna go in the mushroom cream sauce paper deli pasta. And I also have some Parmesan here for salads. Speaking of salad, I have a lot of salads over here. So I have, um, let's start with these ones in the back. So I have two of these um, uh, Caesar salad kits. I love these, they're so good. Especially like for quick lunches or something to add for dinner on the side. And then I also got these chopped kit salads. I wanted to try them. So this is Buffalo Ranch and this one is Southwest. They looked really good actually, to be honest with you. So I'm super stoked to try those. And then also right here, I got some riced cauliflower. Um, kind of like a substitute for actual rice, but just depends how I'm feeling, but I got one of those. And then here I got the mushrooms that's going to go in that pasta sauce that I mentioned. And I have two things of rice pilaf here for lunches for the kids. And I have a whole bunch of fruit here. So I have some sliced mango, sliced watermelon, and some strawberries. Um, I did buy some oranges, but I already put them in my bowl here. So just so you know. <laughs> and I also got some brioche bread. I love this bread. It's so good. It's perfect for like French toast or just regular toast for like the morning time. So delicious. I love it. And I also got some organic sweet cream butter here. I also have some puff pastry sheets. That is going to be for the tomato and feta tarts that I was telling you about. I have some grapes here for snacking for the kids. Nadia loves grapes. And I also have some heavy whipping cream and that is going to go into the mushroom cream sauce for the pasta dinner. Also some tomato paste here that is also gonna go into the pasta dish but you can definitely use this for a multitude of things so it's always a good staple to have in the house. The rosemary for the pasta dish. And then now we're getting more into a little bit of the goodies here. I got some Tim Tam cookies. Um, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, these are Australian cookies. They are so good. Um, definitely a little treat for myself. I wanted to get some of those. I might have to hide these from the kids because they love them too. I got Nathan and Nadia some um, Annie's fruit snacks here. And I got our favorite popcorn. This is the Quinn Real Butter and Sea Salt Popcorn. It's super good. Also, I have some goldfish here for Nadia for snack time. And some honey almond granola. This is going to be um, for yogurts and cereals and things like that. I also got myself some vinegar to clean the fruits and vegetables with. And I got some flowers. Yes. I love getting flowers when I go to the store. Like I have to get like some type of flower for myself because they just liven up my home and make me happy. So G just called me and he is walking up to the um, apartment right now. So he should be here any minute. So um, I'm gonna put the groceries away really quick and then hopefully we can get out of here. We have to go to Home Depot so we can get the stuff that we need for the pantry. And I'm gonna show you a little bit like before so you can get an idea how the pantry looks. Honestly, like, I don't even think it was like a full-on pantry because 
it has like a coat hanging thing in there so i think it's like a coat closet but the lady was like you can use it as a pantry so that's what i want to do just because i don't have any pantry space in the kitchen and i don't really need like a coat closet so i'm just gonna use it as that what the pantry looks like right now it's such a big mess it literally has nothing organized at all it's just kind of thrown in there for now but this is what it looks like um i definitely am gonna be putting shelves in here so i can have like some type of organization for storage but i need to figure out something with my life with this pantry for sure <laughs> hello. hello finally i've been waiting for you I know, I'm sorry I'm late. It's okay, you look nice. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. You look cute like always. What are you measuring? How many shelves are we gonna put in, do you think? How much do you want? Well, I, I know three. I want them. Just three? One, two. Yeah, huh? I think only three could probably fit in here. And I could still use that top one, like, mm -hmm. kind of as a fourth shelf. And stuff underneath it, too, for storage. So, how, how, um... Why do you think they're going to be? Like, I know I want them to come, like, like all the way. Like, almost here. Mm, yeah. Yeah? Um, so it's two feet. It's three feet here and two feet wide. So we are here in Lowe's, and we are looking for some wood planks to put in the pantry. And we were considering painting them white so it would like match the whole pantry because they're all kind of like wood colored. <laughs> and they're all the same size. And I don't see any that's kind of like would fit my pantry in the size that I want. So what were you saying we were gonna do? Just take like two pieces and you want to put them together or do you yeah. want to just make the pantry shelf smaller? Uh, now it's going to be still like about two feet if you get different halves and put them together. So we'll see what kind of options that are more. Hope you will find something. Okay. So G and I found some really nice um, wood that we're gonna use for the shelves and they're already the perfect color so we won't have to paint them really um, but right now we're looking for some type of I guess like hooks or something to kind of hold the shelves up well that one's a big one I do like that one right um, this is what I thought you would get yeah. and I thought you would okay yeah I definitely want something we can kind of bolt into the walls so they don't so we have more support. Oh. It's not gonna be cheaper just to buy this one and put it in. So we just came up with like a brilliant idea. Instead of like getting the wood, it oh, would make sense. Wider. It would make sense to just get one of these racks and put it into the pantry. And it's cheaper because the wood, the wood here is already costing us like $50. And we still haven't cut it. We still haven't installed it. And it's gonna be only temporary because, oh, hold on babe. And it's only going to be temporary because it's an apartment. You know what I mean? So, like, I feel like it would be smarter to just get one of these shelves. They didn't have any more of the shelves that we wanted. So, gee, <laughs> he took it off the display. I don't think we're supposed to do that. <laughs> You're wild. You just do whatever you want, huh? -uh. No, like there was. There was? This is the last one, but it's not. It's for display. I don't think you're supposed to take it. You'll see. <laughs> All of the people that work here are looking at us like, what are you even doing right now? That old man just looked at you like you were crazy. <laughs> G got the shelf. Even though it was the display one and we were trying to pay for it and it wasn't showing up because it's a display one. And they didn't have any more of the ones in boxes and he just grabbed the one off the shelf and then we were trying to pay for it and it wasn't scanning. And so he was just like, can you help us? We don't know why it's not scanning. <laughs> Even though we knew why it wasn't scanning because it's a display, but it's fine. The lady ended up helping us and fixing it, and now he is taking it apart so it could fit into my little car here. Hello, we are home now from Lowe's. We didn't end up going to Home Depot, we went to Lowe's instead. And we had to take apart the shelf here and clean it because it was super dusty because obviously it was a display shelf. And um, G's going to put it back together, and I'm going to empty out the pantry right now.
all right so g put the shelf in and oh my goodness this was such a brilliant idea just grabbing this shelf instead of like drilling holes in the wall putting like the shelves up ourselves like this temporary shelf was like such a good idea and we can keep this for later too and put it like in the garage or something in another place for storage so much better find i think so i have all of this stuff that i need to get put away into the pantry and um i already have these um, little baskets that i got a while ago um these i got at target i'm pretty sure they still have something like that or something similar and then i have these baskets at what well, as well also from target and then um these are not gonna go in the pantry it's something totally different but these um i got at target as well so um i think like the kids snacks are gonna go in here and other little things but yeah i've already gotten these like from a previous time at my old home so i'm just like reusing them because they're still good they're pretty good quality pretty sturdy so i'm just gonna start putting all of this stuff and organizing it and putting it away everything in order of how I wanted it to be and kind of just also low-key just kind of put stuff on the shelves <laughs> but this bottom shelf definitely was my idea to have the kids snacks at the bottom so it'd be easy for them to grab if they wanted to grab a snack and then as we go up it's just stuff that I would use for cooking and whatnot so um, I just kind of put canned goods and stuff in here rices and granola and things like that and also some like um, storage things right there and then up here we just kind of have like pastas and stuff mommy's magic juices <laughs> and some teas and things over there and then for the top I just put like all of my appliances that um, I needed to go in storage but yeah I am happy with how it looks it looks way better than it did before definitely I am going to wrap up this video here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I enjoyed making it. Thank you so much for watching. And if you did enjoy it, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up for me. And please subscribe if you haven't done so already. And I will see you in my next one, baby. Bye, guys.